Hi everyone, this is Bob and uh, this morning I uh, did a little work on the Heathkit HM2102 VHF watt meter. This works on 6 and 2 meters. I've calibrated it especially on 2 meters because that's what I use it for uh, is, is with my 2 meter rig and uh, it was reading considerably low. Now I've got it set up here today for testing with the Yesu FT857D which I have set for 15 watts out and I was going to, it's on 146.54 which is close enough uh, to the center of the band so I'm going to leave it and like I say I've got it set for 15 watts I also have the bird watt meter connected back here and it is connected to a bird dummy load which is very accurate dummy load 50 ohm input and uh, that's down under the bench so I've got it set for exactly 15 watts that's a 50 watt slug I have in there so it's 50 watts full scale so there's 15 watts on the nose I set the power level on the Yesu FT857D uh, that is uh, function number 75 on the Yesu to set the power level and this one here you will see switch to, I had to put the switch to the right position is also reading exactly 15 watts really good it had been calibrated I don't know a year ago and uh, was working fine and yet uh, today when I did a little transmitting on two meters it was reading about five watts uh, with a transceiver over there on the other side where I do my operating that uh, puts out about 15 watts so I thought something is wrong okay so then I took it apart I took the screws out I removed the sensing unit here in the back and I checked connections and I checked the calibration which was right on and I couldn't find out what's wrong with this thing well you know what I've had this thing long enough I should have known I do remember now but I forgot so anyhow the problem is there are two switches one here and there's one in back of this control here that goes in and out it's a slide switch mounted on the control and this one is a rotary switch with three positions okay so anyhow I got in there and got the checking and I touched this switch here and it went right up to 15 watts and I touched it again and it dropped down to 5 again and I thought okay that's a dirty switch it's got corrosion or it's got uh, it, it's got uh, dirt or corrosion in that switch and the cure for that of course is to clean it with good contact cleaner and uh, this is what I used I took it apart this is the second time I took it apart the first time I thought it was something wrong in there like a loose connection in that and like I say I did a lot of checking with it which I suppose doesn't hurt anything I got nothing better to do right so anyhow I buy this CRC electronic cleaner at uh, Walmart in the auto department and you get this big can and it's, it's really quite inexpensive compared to deoxit which is about fifteen ninety five for a little teeny teeny weeny can so uh, I think this stuff is uh, just as good and so I sprayed both switches and then I work them like that each one 25 times just like that and everything is working fine so I wanted to show you guys and save you all the trouble I don't know how many times I've taken this thing completely apart when it was reading low I am a forgetful person have been all my life but now that I'm 78 years old I got an excuse <laughs> well what I did too to prevent that in the future I just took a regular uh, label here stick on label and uh, and uh, I wrote on it here uh, that the meter if the meter reads low or too low or too high 
clean both switches before you take everything apart. And to do that you take out these two screws here, you take out these two screws here, you grab a hold of it back here and uh, pull it out. It's got a nice long wire on it and you spray the two switches from the back side and you work them 25 times. This one this way and this one in and out. So there's a real time saver for you. If your HM2102 or your HM102 Heathkit watt meter is reading off uh, too low usually or too high, clean the two switches and cycle them 25 times and you should be back in business just like that. So that's my little tip for today, and I thought, golly, you know, I did this this morning, and I thought, I wonder how many guys out there have had this problem and took this thing all apart, just like I did, and fiddled with it and fiddled with it, and then finally realized, hey, let's clean the switches. Or maybe they didn't even find the problem, and they took it to a ham fest and sold it to somebody cheap. So uh, I wanted to show that today and uh, save that guy out there or that lady uh, a, a frustration frustration I wanted to save you frustration and wasting time and all that so that's my tip for today everybody have a really enjoyable 2021 thank you for watching my videos they are done to help people and that's the only reason 73's and good DX.